powerful, life-changing encounter with Jesus Christ. And it was during this period that the Lord Jesus Christ first started to tell us about the Nephilim. I had no idea about the existence of the Nephilim, except just vaguely, you know, after reading from the book of Genesis. So I just thought, oh, this is something that happened long ago, you know. So I had no idea that there was even a possibility that these creatures could be on the earth right now. So when, we, when the Lord manifested himself to us, that was midnight, and from midnight all the way up to uh, morning, the Lord just started to show us so many things and to, to, to speak to us about so many things. And the next day, we continued in prayer for the entire day again, like we didn't stop from midnight up to the next day. And then we continued in prayer all the way up to evening. And throughout this period, the Lord Jesus Christ started to speak to us and to show us so many things. And among the things that the Lord Jesus Christ started to tell us and to show us about, it was about the existence of the Nephilim in our day and age. So the Lord Jesus Christ told us that the Nephilim are here on the earth. He, actually, the word that the Lord Jesus Christ had used, which I remember very well, he was telling us that you need to be careful because not everyone whom you see is human. Some of them are Nephilim, the demon incarnate. Okay, an evil spirit putting on a physical body in order to appear like a human being because they want to do a physical mission on the earth. It's just a mere disguise. But they do not have a soul. They don't have a human soul for them to, to go to heaven or hell. But they are evil spirits. The same way that the, the Nephilim were on earth, when they were the Nephilim, originally were the children of the fallen angels and the human. So they were evil spirits. But even in our age, you know, the Bible says that even after that, they were Nephilim. But what the Lord started to tell us was that right now the Nephilim are here. And he said there are so many. Because when the Lord said the Nephilim are here among you, not every person whom you see who looks human is truly human. Some of them are Nephilim. They are evil spirits disguised in a physical body because they want to maximize their work on the earth. And the Lord said that this is very common because we thought, oh, maybe what the Lord is talking about, you know, maybe it's just once in a while. That's what we thought. But then the Lord said to us that, this is very common, like they are born, they are actually born, they have a family, like you can actually trace them, you can actually trace their ancestors, like it's so hard for you to just come up and say this person is a Nephilim or not. And only the Holy Spirit is able to reveal to you and show you the truth that you are encountering a Nephilim. So when the Lord started to tell us all these things, then the Lord started to tell us that the mission of the Nephilim on the earth is to pollute mankind the same way that they did in the day of Noah. And if we read, the Bible tells us that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. In the day of Noah, there was so much evil, so much wickedness, which had been introduced by the Nephilim, by the way. And people lived their everyday lives without a care that the world was about to be destroyed. But Jesus said that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Meaning that now, when we are in the end times, wickedness is going to be multiplied. But how is that wickedness suddenly just going to be multiplied and even just explode? like so much wickedness to provoke the judgment of God. And this is the reason why the Nephilim 
have been sent to the earth is to come and make sure that human beings just become like crazy like they mess up with your mind in a way that you know they degrade you like you can't even you lose your reason and the reason uh, why they had to come here to do it physically you know why couldn't they just use a satanist or a witch to do this because human beings like to follow the majority so if the nephilim are able to come on the earth in huge numbers then they come and introduce so many abominable things to humans then human beings just come and follow not that any person who is involved in all these things are nephilim but the the people who introduced all these things to people they are nephilim the nephilim are the ones behind the lgbt the nephilim are the ones controlling the entertainment industry. Yes, there are humans who are in the entertainment industry, but the Nephilim are like the powerhouse of the entertainment industry. They are the ones who are in charge, in control of it. And then they recruit some humans. They recruit some humans to do it. And those humans, of course, they come and do it. They think, oh, we're all human, you know, we're all in this together, but you do not know that the others are not even human you know so it's a mixture they want to be among the, the 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 people they want to be among the people just like the parable of the tares you know where the the tares and the wheat were just mixed until the time of the harvest that is exactly how the nephilim are in these end times like there's they, they are not isolated in one place and when the lord you know, so they are the ones who are spearheading the LGBT uh, movement. They are the ones who have spearheaded a lot of abominable things, like to normalize a lot of abominations. Because let me tell you, they are so smart. Like they can 